Hey everyone, Miles here for Website Traffic Attraction. I wanted to cover a topic that is generating a lot of conversation and discussion these days, and that is about getting listed in local search results, dealing with Google Places, Yahoo Local, or even Bing local listings. Now, if you don't know what I mean, don't worry, I'm going to talk about it. First, let's distinguish organic results, natural results from local results. So taking a look at the screen right now, we're at Google. We're going to type in a search phrase. Let, let's say you are looking for a, a business around your area, a good or a service, whatever it might may be. So let's say I'm visiting San Diego and I'm, I'm looking for coffee shops. So I type in San Diego coffee shops. Okay. What happens is you're going to be given a set of results and now you're going to see organic results and local results. What I mean by organic is the websites that come up can be from across the US or even the world. And then local results are obviously those that are near or in your area. When you look at the screen right now, you'll see that there are two organic results on top right here. And below that are seven or about seven local results. The maximum local result number will be seven. Sometimes there may be only three or four. But every time you see this kind of this uh, icon here, this red icon, teardrop icon, reverse teardrop, that's a local result. In Google, that's called a Google Place page. As you see here on the right, they have something called a place page. Now, what is happening is Google is trying to help small businesses because they understand that people who invest in trying to get these results, these organic results, that's the proper phrase for it. People who are businesses that work to get these organic results, they often spend thousands and thousands of dollars and spend a lot of time to get their websites to rank high. However, small businesses who own establishments that don't make nearly as much money as big corporations or large chains, they, you know, they, they feel helpless. So Google most likely is trying to help them. And so they created a number of pages called place pages. And let me click through to one right here. So if you own a small business, you owe it to yourself to take advantage of this. So listen up. Google has created nearly, I, I don't know the exact number, but 50 million place pages. In essence, these are mini websites for your business. I just clicked on the first result and what showed up was Lestat's Coffee House. Now, this is like a mini web page. It has all the information, it has some photos, it even has a, an actual photo of the establishment, a map, um, there's descriptions, there's a video right here, you have reviews from people and you have other websites where your establishment is being talked about. So it's a, really a little mini web page for any small business because small businesses, some of them, they don't even know what to do or how to approach creating a website. Maybe they don't have the time. Maybe they don't have the money. So again, Google is helping these small businesses out. Now here are two important things to know about these place pages. Let's go back here just for a second. Okay. There are two important things. One, I mentioned there are about 50 million place pages that Google has made for legitimate businesses. The first thing is only 97% of those place pages have been claimed. What do I mean by claimed? Businesses have taken control over those pages, right? So they, they actually own those pages. And there's a big difference. If you own a page here, if you've claimed your Google Places page, you one thing you get to manage it you can change all the information on that page like the address the telephone number descriptions and things like that but also google realizes that you've taken claim you now it, the, the place page is more important to you so what does this all mean if you claim your page the chances of you ranking higher in these search results for the local establishments is much better. And just think, only 97% of businesses have claimed their pages. So if you're in a market and they're not tech savvy and you claim your page before others, you're always going to be showing up in search results. 
Okay, that's that's only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to local search engine optimization. But just think if again, 97% of businesses don't even know anything about this, just get yourself listed and you're going to be showing up above everyone else. If you don't know, here's the second thing about Google Places. If you don't know, more often than not, these local listings, again, with the reverse thumbnail or teardrop icon, they normally appear above organic results. So again, it seems like Google is helping out small local businesses. They want them to show up before these organic results here at the bottom. Okay, so it's very important that you take the time to get yourself listed. Very important. And Google is demonstrating how important it is because they've even created a separate place for Google Places. When you click this, now you see no local, sorry, you don't see any organic results here. You see all local results. All of them have that reverse teardrop icon. They're all local results. And the list keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Now, the very first thing you have to do is definitely, again, claim your place page. The second thing would be to then try to optimize your page so you're, you are appearing higher in the local results over other small businesses. But first things first, you need to know how to claim your page. So that's what we're going to cover today. A lot of people don't know how to do it because they think that their place page is already there. That's true. Your place page, as I mentioned, Google has already created about 50 million of them, but you have to claim it. If you don't claim it, your competition is going to claim, are going to claim their pages and they're going to appear above your particular business. So you don't want that. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do this. Let's, um, let's uh, take an example here. I'm going to have to copy a number. You'll see why. Let's just use this. Uh, let's go to the place page. Let's just use this example. Well, stats coffee shop. So I'm going to copy the number. I'll need this number. You'll see why in a second. So the first thing you need to do when you want to claim your Google Place page is to go to this website.